In this video, we're going to be talking about arterial dissections. It is not a really common thing, but if you're watching this, I assume you probably heard about it somewhere. So the most important thing to understand is a blood vessel is not just a tube. A blood vessel has layers. So what a dissection is, it is a tear, a little hole that is created inside the internal layer. And when that happens, the blood will get in between the two layers and try to go in between and push the inner layer out, which will block the main conduit for the blood flow. So the most common and most dreadful dissection is called an aortic dissection. The aorta is this main blood vessel which measures two to three centimeters and comes off straight from your heart. The most common place for this to happen in the aorta is in the ascending aorta close to the heart. And that's the most dangerous place for two reasons. One, it can bleed into the pericardium and cause instant death. And the other issue is sometimes it can extend into the coronary arteries and block them which can also cause a heart attack. Those tears need to be treated with surgery almost immediately. They are a surgical emergency. Now, the second most common place that the tears can happen in the aorta is just after the subclavian artery in this turn here. And that's called a type B dissection. And those tears can extend all the way down the legs. Luckily, nowadays this can be treated with a minimally invasive procedure. And that's when we put a little tube through the groin and we navigate all the way to where the tear is so we can cover the tear to stop the leakage. They usually present with a sudden onset of pain in the abdomen and can be quite severe. We usually treat those with antiplatelets or blood thinners because one of the main problems with those dissections is they can form clots and embolize and cause ischemia in the organs. If the pain continues or it seems to be getting worse, we then may decide to place a stent in those dissections. Now, last but not least, they can also happen in the carotid artery. And those can be dangerous as well and need to be diagnosed quickly. Usually happens in younger patients in their 30s, on their 40s. It usually presents with a sudden onset of neck pain, which can progress to symptoms like a stroke, like having visual problems, double vision, or losing vision, or having weakness or numbness in one of the limbs or in the face. Now, hopefully you understand what a dissection is. I hope this was helpful. And this is Minimally Invasive Insights.